Hi, it's Sean from duckandmouse.com, and we are celebrating Bookshop Day by going through five of my favourite Disney books. Bookshop Day is all about celebrating books and the stores that sell them, especially independent sellers. And I thought what better way to celebrate both books and the Disney fandom than by talking about five of my favourite books. So here we go. Pushing the boundaries, I guess, on what is deemed as Disney, here is uh, The Art of Star Wars The Force Awakens. It's a book that accompanied the film when it was released. Uh, last year. You follow the story of how it went from initial sketches that influenced the story all the way to like final designs. It's a great book, it gives you an extra insight into how they make a film and you see really how much of a role the artwork can play in a final big massive Hollywood blockbuster. Going vintage, these are some collectible books and souvenirs I picked up. Great pictures of old attractions that aren't there anymore. Just love looking at vintage clothing that people are wearing and the hairstyles. Can't go wrong there. And look at this old Mickey and Minnie. Ah! Check DLP is one of my favorite. Wait, hang on a second. That's a book I wrote with Holly. It's not available in bookstores yet, but if you go down below, you can click the link and get yourself a copy. It features over 300 things to do at Disneyland Paris, all laid out per land, uh, with lovely pictures, over 40 pictures that Holly and I have taken in the parks. Uh, it's a great way to keep track of your memories for your next trip to Disneyland Paris. Okay, enough of that plug. Real books. On the lines of the parks, my favourite guides, because I have such a background in theatre design and story design, I guess, like that, um, is the Imagineering guides, the Imagineering field guides to Disneyland and California Adventure. These are phenomenal. They go into depth into each section of the park. They reveal various elements of the design, original sketches for rides, that kind of thing, whilst also giving you a few little secret tips and fun, fun and games, uh, and also a bit of the process on what goes into Imagineering and how they design actual theme parks and make them go from a page to a, a real life attraction. If you want a different kind of guide to the parks, these are fab. Encompassing more than just the parks is this, The Art of Walt Disney, From Mickey Mouse to the Magic Kingdom. It is uh, all about the artwork that goes into Disney films that kind of chronicles the story of, uh, you know, from early sketches of, you know, your early cartoons and the early drawings of Walt's life, all the way up to modern filming technology, including Pixar's works. Uh, it's a fantastic book. Holly got it for me for a gift. I haven't finished reading it yet, but I'm enjoying it immensely so far. The book that sits in my number one favourite Disney book position is this one. Boom! Walt Disney Imagineering. Small books are great. This one goes into a lot more depth, has a lot of images from maps, uh, technical drawings, behind the scenes clips, models, uh, pull out pages, all sorts of things. This is the big daddy of books if you have any love for Imagineering like I do. Uh, with Shanghai opening, I'm sure there will be another one of these on the way. If you find it, get it. It is worth it, I highly recommend. One last thing, and it is a bit of a bonus, uh, because it's not one of my favourite books per se, but it's my favourite bookshop, and I think this is fitting as it is a, a post about bookshop day. One of my favourite bookstores is in Paris, so if you are visiting Disneyland Paris, I highly recommend you go to this bookstore. It is an English bookstore in France, I know, uh, in Paris. It is called Shakespeare and Company. It's opposite the Notre Dame. Uh, and it is one of the best bookshops I've ever been to. It's on the site of an old monastery. Writers can work in Paris for free, live for free at this bookshop, and all they have to do is volunteer their time to sell books. These are some of the books we have picked up. My parents got Holly for her birthday, a copy of Peter Pan, uh, and I picked up Grimm's Fairy Tales most recently, which is also uh, probably very uh, Disney related in that sense. They give you this stamp in the front of your books so that you know you have been there. It is a fantastic bookshop, I cannot recommend it highly enough. Get yourself to Shakespeare and Company in Paris next time if you are visiting Disneyland Paris. You must go, you must pick up something lovely, you must celebrate bookshop day. Go to a bookshop, buy a book, enjoy it, whether it's Disney or anything else. 
Have a wonderful day. Subscribe. We'll see you again soon. Bye.